Hey guys, Meal Planning Mama here. I know that I missed Menu Plan Monday, so I'm late. But I'm jumping on here today. I am knee deep in preparations for Independence Day. I actually have a honey bun cake in the oven. Just made some deviled eggs. And then I'm in the process of trying to get supper ready for tonight. So I have some steaks marinating. I'm going to grill those. Some onions and portobello mushrooms over in my cast iron that I'm going to saute. Baked potatoes going in the oven. But I wanted to share with you our menu plan for this week. So um, I had said that last Saturday we should have enough food to do leftovers. But we didn't do um, leftovers. I actually cooked on Saturday. I actually dug into my freezer stash, pulled out one of the lasagnas, a ton of the cookies, baked those off, took some to church the next day. We had some Saturday night for supper, and then we had my Pioneer Woman lasagna from the freezer, and we had a big salad and some of the cookies for dessert and some French bread. So that was Saturday. Then Sunday, I fixed the the what I had originally had one day last week. We actually had homemade um, biscuits that I made and froze and I pulled them out of the freezer because the grandkids were here and my older daughter and I had to have a quick meal because we were all busy playing. So I did sausage biscuits, eggs, and then I pulled the homemade biscuits out of the freezer, let them thaw up for about an hour and bake those off. So that was, and we had some fruit. And so that was Sunday night. So last um, night, yesterday, that is when I, we went off on a little adventure. I actually went grocery shopping, but we got in so late, I did not do a grocery haul. My total, I think, was around $327. And I had to get some things that I needed for Independence Day that I'm working on now. We also made a stop at the Goodwill. I found a bread machine, guys, for $9.99, which isn't surprising because you'll see those a lot. But this one was actually in the original box. The original packaging had the instruction manual and a recipe book. So I'm excited to use that. So that's coming up. Hopefully I can vlog about that when, when I get to do that. But right now I'm just way too busy with trying to prepare for Independence Day. So Monday night we got home late. We hate to have supper late. We usually like to eat between 5 and 6 o'clock. We were really late Monday night. Totally just weird for us. But everyone was hungry, so I came in and I just made quick BLTs and french fries. So that was Monday night. Tonight, I'm actually doing the steak and the baked potatoes and some salad and um, french bread or cheese bread. So I have that for tonight, and I have some strawberries that I picked up that were on sale, organic strawberries at Kroger. So we're having that tonight. Now, tomorrow for Independence Day, uh, my mom's coming down. She's bringing fried chicken and I think potato salad. I am making baked beans, macaroni and cheese, deviled eggs, and the honey bun cake that's in the oven now. So I'm working on that now. Uh, we had to leave in the middle of all this prep because we had to show the house, which meant we had to stop what we were doing, clean the house, get it ready, get everyone out. It's hot as blue blazes here. It's ridiculous. I think tomorrow the heat index is supposed to be like 105. And if you live in the South, you know what I'm talking about. It's just sweltering, sweltering humidity. Like you walk outside and you're just drenched. So we decided that we didn't really want to be in the kitchen or over the grill a lot tomorrow. So we decided on that. We decided she's going to pick up some fried chicken from a local grocery store, I think. And then um, she's bringing some potato salad that she's making. Then I'm doing um, baked beans, macaroni and cheese, deviled eggs, and the honey bun cake. And she'll probably be, bring some other things too, but I'm, I'm not exactly sure yet. I'll probably make some homemade lemonade. So we're going to be enjoying that for Independence Day. Then on Thursday, I'm going to do some ribs and I'm actually going to cook them in my crock pot until they're tender. And then I'll pull them out when they're done, let them cool. And I'll either broil them until they're crispy in the oven or throw them on the grill. I haven't decided about that. I'm gonna make um, some mashed potatoes and green beans to go along with that. And then Friday night here is usually pizza night. So we'll, we're, I think we're probably going to have pizza and hot wings for supper on Friday. And then Saturday, I'm not sure about our Saturday plans yet. I might pull another freezer meal out of the, out of the freezer and we might have that. If not, we might have leftovers or um, 
I might actually grill hamburgers on Saturday. So we'll just have to see what our plans are for that one for Saturday. But that's my menu plan for this week. I know it's late. Sorry about that. Um, but I did want to get it in. I did want to give you an update on what I had in my freezer because I raided it over the weekend and really took a lot of things out. We've been eating quite a bit out of there for breakfast and um, desserts and that came in handy. So I'm going to have to work, not next week, but the next on trying to get our freezer stocked back up. So I only have one lasagna in there. I still have the two friendship casseroles. I added the broccoli um, and rice and cheese. I still have the burrito pie in there. The three quart size bags of pork carnitas, two gallon size bags of pinto beans, and uh, the caramel brownies are gone. Two gallon size bags of the oatmeal cookies are gone, and all of the homemade chocolate chips are gone. Those are gone, so I'm gonna have to restock on that. So, I wanted to let you guys, I also added a gallon size bag of rice um, to the freezer, along with the two gallon size bags of pinto beans. So, that's what we're looking like here um, at our homestead, and I would love to hear what your menus are. Just leave a link down in the comments below. Thanks.